Today on Forbes, how a high-tech chair could revolutionize cancer radiation therapy. For decades, Stanford Healthcare has been trying to install a state-of-the-art proton therapy machine to add to its array of high-tech cancer treatments. But try as it might, it just couldn't find a place to put one. Proton therapy machines, which deliver targeted radiation to cancerous tumors, are massive contraptions. They typically need a facility the size of a three-story football field to accommodate them, and build-out costs are similarly gargantuan, between $50 million and $100 million. Even for a prestigious institution like Stanford, the hurdles to installation were daunting, particularly given Palo Alto's pricey real estate and lack of space for such construction. Stanford professor of radiation oncology, Dr. Billy Liu, told Forbes, quote, The closest that we came was several years ago, when we worked out an arrangement with the Palo Alto VA hospital that is close to us. The approvals went all the way up to the top of the VA administration in Washington, but as the project proceeded month by month, the cost estimates escalated. It became totally infeasible. Three years ago, Stanford found an alternative. Startup Leo Cancer Care had developed a variation on the standard proton therapy machine design. Instead of rotating the radiation beam around a patient lying flat in a bed, it designed a chair in which a seated patient rotated around the beam. That seemingly simple change had transformative consequences. It helped trim the space required to about 1,700 square feet from the more than 29,000 square feet, a more than 90% reduction. That made it significantly less expensive and easier to fit where they wanted it, even with the extensive radiation shielding proton therapy machines require. Stanford teamed up Leo Cancer Care, which makes the chair and imaging technology, with Mevion Medical Systems, which had developed a small proton accelerator, and in 2024, they started building out the new facility. Dr. Liu hopes that its use will help Stanford's doctors treat cancers more effectively with fewer risks. Liu said, quote, the concept is very simple, but the implementation is quite sophisticated. It has a huge impact. It's still early days for Leo Cancer Care, and this is a hard and capital-intensive business. But the West Sussex, UK and Middleton, Wisconsin-based company, which has raised a total of $150 million at a valuation of $280 million, including a recent $40 million round led by Catalio Capital Management, is gaining traction. Revenue reached $11 million last year and is expected to more than double this year. Major hospitals and health systems began signing deals for Leo's flagship product, called Marie, after Nobel laureate Marie Curie, that combines an upright patient positioning system and a CT scanner, even before it received FDA clearance for it in July. It works in partnership with beam delivery systems supplied by Mevion, Sumitomo, Atachi, and others. The company now counts Mayo Clinic, Baycare in Florida, and proton therapy pioneer Loma Linda University Health among its customers. And it now has an $85 million backlog of orders, according to what co-founder and CEO Stephen Tao told Forbes. Tao hopes to reach $200 million in revenue within three or four years, and said that Leo is, quote, actively pursuing an IPO, perhaps as early as late 2026, depending on market conditions. The number of proton therapy machines in use today is tiny. Only 46 proton centers in the U.S. today, and just over 100 worldwide, Tao said, while the global need for them is closer to 2,000. Proton therapy provides greater targeting in cancer treatment, allowing patients to receive effective therapy with less damage to normal tissue and lower radiation risk, but its cost has been prohibitive. Fixed beam systems like Leo's cost between $17 million and $22 million, versus $30 million or more for the traditional setup, Tao said. But the bigger cost savings come from the build-out. Leo's chair with a smaller accelerator can fit into a large room on a single floor. They don't need three stories to accommodate them. He figures that the average cost savings all in is around $35 million to $40 million, and in some cases, closer to $70 million. For full coverage, check out Amy Feldman's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.